year-old Zinnan Matlock today for his response they have yet to call back. A strip club planned for the Parkway Village area has been shut down before it can even open. The Gentleman's Club was set to open near a church on Mendenhall Road. WMC Action News 5 investigator Jerry Askin explains how his investigation led code enforcement to putting a stop to the business. Jerry? And Kanji, even this sign reads coming soon. Now, after our phone calls today, these front doors are closed after inspectors told us property owners here misled them. It really hurt that uh, someone would decide to bring that type of business in a neighborhood. Pastor Beatrice Davis says she was not going to let this happen. Her church is two doors down from this building with a sign now reading Fancy Gentleman's Club which you can see had plans of opening soon. It's also across from apartments where kids usually play. We felt that it is a public nuisance uh, to, and it is an injustice to bring that type of business into the community. Wednesday morning after we pushed for answers, code enforcement inspectors put this sign up on the door reading do not occupy. They know they shouldn't be doing it in that zone. It wasn't until our phone calls that inspectors even knew the gentleman club signs were up. This comes after Pastor Davis and church leaders filed this complaint back in July of last year after finding out this building might soon be a strip club. He misrepresented what he was going to do there when he took the permit out. Inspectors say owners said the place was going to be a restaurant or a pawn shop when they applied for a permit last year. I asked why inspectors waited so long to address the issue. So you all did try to address it, and it was a vacant building. Correct. We did try and get reaction from property owners Wednesday. No comment. But I was quickly shown the door. All right. And back live here, building inspectors say this place, the way it's advertised, goes against zoning regulations and is not allowed to open. We're live in Southeast Memphis. Jerry Askin, WMC Action News 5. Breaking news alert, a man has been sentenced to 58 years in prison after shooting two people in a motorcycle club back in 2014. Robert Taylor was sentenced to 25 years on two separate counts of second degree murder and another eight years for being a convicted felon with a gun. Police said Taylor shot and killed Eric Whitaker and Jonathan Triplett in April 2014 after an argument at a club on Chelsea Avenue. A driver arrested after police say he flipped the 